Moving on, but still on the same note, a majority of Kenyans who attended the 59th Jamhuri Day celebrations were unable to access the free scholarship on global entrepreneurship and innovation that is being offered free of charge by the University of Arizona in the United States of America. Although President William Ruto did keep his word on availing the scholarships, it is how to access the 18-module course that left many with a sour taste. And as KTN's Emmanuel Toh now reports, the president has called on Kenyans to embrace technology in order to create employment. From the early hours Monday, Kenyans from their all walks of life flocked to the 45,000 capacity Nyayo National Stadium to commemorate the 59th Jamhuri Day dubbed Connect, Innovate, Inspire. However, among the thousands of attendees were Kenyans eager to acquire the technological causes that were promised by President William Ruto to all those who will show up for the event. The certificate course, according to the head of state, will cost the learner 100,000 shillings. And as he wound up his speech, the president lived up to his word. Everyone present in this stadium today will get a free scholarship on global entrepreneurship and innovation. There is a QR code near you. Mumeipata. Scan and access the scholarship now. A 16 unit course that would have costed you 100,000 is now accessible to you for free. However, the way to access the 18 modules course is what threw the stadium into disarray, with many, especially the hustlers, who did not have smartphones feeling disgruntled by the cumbersome process. Na mi ningetaka kuuliza hiyo scholarship ina peano wapi, tulisikia tu kwa TV, atujaona. Sipo kwa nyaya wapi? Nimekuwa. Sijayona. Badu yo scholarship imeongelelo, lakini sijajua jeans even yeneza ipata. There were, however, a few successful ones who got an opportunity after several attempts to register for the online course. I've scanned uh, the, the scan that we have on the pamphlet for Arizona University. Um, I'm already in the process of signing in so far. I've uh, seen that the, 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 their website is user-friendly and easy to access. The scholarship on global entrepreneurship and innovation from Thunderbird School of Global Management at Arizona State University will focus on several units including strategic planning, accountability, transparency and ethics in business, social entrepreneurship and using social media effectively for business among others. The president also called on Kenyans to rally behind the futuristic agenda of technology promising more government services will be digitized for seamless service delivery. We intend to transfer 85% of the remaining government services to the digital space so that every Kenyan, wherever they are, they do not have to get into any bus to go to get government services or queue in any line to access government services. We have decided that we are going to have a 100,000 kilometer super highway that is going to be built to enable internet access our homes. We celebrate our young people who have continued to make us proud in this space. We encourage them to move with greater speed and dominate not only regionally but also globally. We're in a global economy powered by information driven by knowledge. The young people in Sigalagala must not be prepared to compete with young people of Singore in Elgeo Marakwet, but with young people of Singapore. Ruto said the country would only bridge the gap of unemployment through the digitization of jobs, pledging to create more space for the youth to flourish. And after President William Ruto's pledge to improve the economy through the bottom-up approach and technology, Kenyans will now be looking at the specific methods and measures that will be put to ensure that dream is achieved. Emmanuel Tor, KT News, Nyaya National Stadium, Nairobi. On a similar note, the National